Now let's check out classification number three, which is via separation type or separation methodology. And what I did is to separate these two main areas, which are homogeneous versus heterogeneous processes. I would love to say that actually we focus our attention only to homogeneous processes, but actually there are a lot of heterogeneous processes that we are also including in our day-to-day uh, -day, uh, process, sep process separation technologies, for instance, solid and drying, humidification, leaching, washing, evaporation, crystallizations. Those are heterogeneous by definition, even though they might sound a lot of chemical. Well, since there is a solid present, well, then these are heterogeneous. But homogeneous are most likely to be the common ones. Phase addition, phase creation, we'll already be talking about distillation, gas absorption, liquid liquid extraction. My barrier will be membranes and a lot of processes. Solid agent can be shown as an example, adsorption, chromatography, or external field, which can be electrical or magnetism or gravitational and so on. Now, typically, uh, I like to separate these as mass transfer operations involving solids. As stated before, these are common unit operations in mass separation, but they have solids. Therefore, this is a little bit more, uh, let's say, a different approach than this, because this right here, you have fluids. Either this is a liquid or a vapor or a gas, whereas here we have a solid plus a fluid. And Later, we're going to see that even these processes right here are not at all chemical based, rather physical. So I typically call these mechanical physical separations. For instance, the canting is nothing more than letting this to settle, which is one point, and then removal of one phase physically. We have flotation, sedimentation, centrifugation, filtration, decanting, hydrocyclo hydrocycloning and so on okay so i will recommend you guys to pay extra attention to this slide make no worries we're going to be having much more attention in each of these materials and each of these subjects but for now i think it's important for you to try to at least memorize this part right here 